What's up guys? So today I think I have a pretty cool video for you. Um, I had a guy on my channel um, ask to see if I could put a power bank on top of the DJI Spark and to see if it would increase the flight time or decrease the flight time. Um, and I'm going to start off with a little story. Uh, when I was in college, um, I was friends with um, some, some guys in the, the science department and they did an experiment on whether you could cool down a room with a refrigerator and whether it would be cost efficient. And what they ended up with was it cost more, it cost more to run the refrigerator and the back of the refrigerator was giving off more heat than the refrigerator itself was cooling off the room. So I kind of think this is how, that's how this is gonna work out. Um, I found a battery pack that is pretty light. Um, it's this slim power pack by uh, Vivitar. And it's about the size of a credit card. Um, well, about the size of like four credit cards stacked on top of each other. And it's pretty light and it'll give your phone one full charge. Um, what's cool about the DJI Spark is that you can charge it off of a power bank. You can charge it from your cigarette lighter. You can charge it just by using a USB cable. So the idea is we're going to strap this power bank onto the bottom of the DJI Spark and we're going to plug it in. We're going to strap it all together and we're going to do a hover test. Um, and then we're going to do a hover test on the DJI Spark by itself so we can compare the flight times. Um, we can see um, the strain on the motors, different things like that. So um, I got a power bank um, and it's set. I'll put a link in the description as to where, where to get this or one. I have a Joby um, power bank coming in the mail, but it wasn't here yet. And I found this over the weekend. So I'll put a link in the description where you can find it. And it says that it's pre-charged, but I didn't want to get all the way out here to the ballpark and it not be charged. So I unboxed it already, but we're gonna do kind of a pseudo unboxing. I wanted you to see what the package looked like at least. So what comes in the box, you've got a power cord. I don't know if this power cord is gonna be long enough, so I brought the one that comes with the DJI Spark. Um, And then this is it guys. This is um, the power bank. And the plan is to just strap it on the bottom there. Um, try not to cover the, the uh, sensors. Um, maybe like this or maybe pointing backwards. Um, we'll see what happens. But we're just gonna Velcro that guy on. So here we go. Um, I got two different kinds of Velcro strips. I don't think these are going to be long enough, but um, these are one wrap thin ties by Velcro. Um, so we'll try that first. I like it because it was gray and kind of matched the spark. Okay. So these are definitely long enough to go around. So these will probably work great for my GoPro mount. I don't think it's gonna work in this scenario. So we're gonna turn Spark over on his belly. We're gonna try this guy. Almost. So that's not long enough. So now what we need this is a one wrap roll. So this is a 12 foot roll of Velcro. So this will definitely work. So, I want to give a decent amount of overlap. So we're going to cut it right about there. I think I want the soft side on the spark. I don't think it matters, but All right, 
so that's with one now we're covering the vent there a little bit so pop open that this definitely looks kind of janky but it's all for science guys I always wanted to be a scientist when I was a kid so there we go so pretty sure that won't hit the blades when it's coming around so right now the the lights aren't on but I think the reason the lights aren't on is because the battery's fully charged so check it to see if it's stable it's pretty stable guys I think it's gonna be fun let's try it all right guys so we've got the battery pack on the spark and uh, see what happens all right guys so there you can see the reason this test failed is because it says that I cannot take off because I'm hooked up to USB so there must be a fail-safe warning in there so that it won't let me take off if I'm tethered to something I'm gonna figure out if I can override that so stay tuned well guys I went through all the all the menus so I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly around today Stop, stop.